this video we're going to be looking at different angles at a point. So it's understanding sort of how angles work and give us sort of hints of how we can work out unknown numbers if we know a few parts to the angles. So in this video, just make sure you're taking notes and putting these definitions into your own words and using these samples here as examples. So the first one we're going to look at is what we call an adjacent angle. Okay. Now in an adjacent angle, these things here, so we've got here the angle of, okay, remember when we design or draw an angle, we go from one part back to the vertex and out again. So we have angle AOB is also adjacent to angle BOC. So what adjacent angles are, they're usually side by side and they each share the uh, vertex, okay, they share a vertex and they also share an arc. So in this case, they're sharing the B. But these angles here are side by side. And what they are, they're called adjacent angles. Now it's just important to know this because as we go further, we're going to understand how we can work out unknown numbers as long as we can work out adjacent angles. So I'm going to draw the next one up and we'll move on from there. Next we have what we call complementary angles. Now complementary angles, as you can see in this shape, they add up to 90 degrees. So they always add up to 90 degrees. Now a good way to think of this is I like to use that complementary it starts with C. And we usually think of C has a corner, okay? So if an angle has a corner, so when we see this shape, we know that that's 90 degrees. So think of complementary as corner, the angles add up to 90. So for example, let's just say that A in this case was uh, 30 degrees. Because it's a complementary angle, I know that if that's 30, it's going to add up to 90. I know that B will equal 60. So it's working out what is left and how much we need to know to make up the complementary angle, which makes 90 degrees. So next we look at the supplementary angle. The supplementary angle is a little different to the complementary. And the supplementary, as you can see, is a straight line. So they're angles that add up to 180 degrees. Now the trick we use with complementary is that C meant corner, so that meant 90 degrees. The trick you can use for supplementary is that S means straight line. And we know that a straight line equals 180. So if you think of supplementary starts with S, so does straight line, then the angle needs to add up to 180 degrees. So again, if we just do an example here, let's just say angle A here equals 60 degrees. I know that this, because it must be a supplementary angle, B then must be 60 plus 120 will give me 180. So I know that this is 120 because the angle A and B are supplementary. Next we have the uh, angle of a revolution. Angles of a revolution. Um, what we can do here is that these need to add up to 360 degrees. So as a full circle, it's going to be 360 degrees. So if we did another example, let's just say that this one was 200. I know that a revolution is 360, so this missing angle here must equal 160 degrees. So we're going to do one more next, and they'll be looking at vertically opposite angles. So finally here we have a handy trick in which is understanding that angles that are vertically opposite are equal. Okay, so when we have lines that like intersect like this, the angles that are vertically opposite are equal to each other. So here, this one and this one will be the same. Okay, these will be the same angle. And that means that this one and this one, and these two angles will also be the same. So it's angles that are vertically opposite will be the same, um, equal as they are. So uh, let's do a quick example so you get an idea of how to do that. So if I discovered that angle A was 130, now what I should be able to do, knowing a revolution and knowing the rest, I should be able to work out the rest of these missing angles. So if this is 130, I know that vertically opposite will also be 130 degrees. So that makes these two angles will be 260. Now this is a full revolution, so that uh, I, need, I need to subtract that from 360, which will leave me with 100 left. Okay, and I know that these two angles here, vertical opposite, will be the same. So half of 100 would be 50 degrees. And what that should get, get me, and if I add all these up together, that will give me 360. So it's important that you understand vertical opposite, because again, it helps us work out unknown numbers.